get upstairs. I say, you're hungry? I cook. The lamb was done season. I know you like lamb. You're f- you see, all your women just want to do this thing halfway. I braise down some lamb fast. Mash potatoes. The one in the box. Hello, I ain't mashing nothing that hour. But I put enough butter. And that never leave from by me till Monday morning. Friday night, I tie him up and say, I didn't want no sex from you. If you want, because I know you're dr- a little bit drunk, you could sleep on the couch. Him, you could do me that. I say, you don't like them dark. You don't like them fat. I just taking care of you. I'm looking out. Let him know your eye back. He lie down on the couch, knock out. I don't take up clothes, wash them, starch them. Have a washing man- machine and dryer, eh? standards. Um, this is just, you know, they have a wonderful higher purchase plan. <laughs> Say, yeah, yeah. Bless the sub, guys. Right. Starch and iron. I don't know his size. I have two jerseys. Just stick down there. I in the game. Get up, he relax. So today we play games. A PlayStation, I love games. I cook some more cow heel soup and dumpling that make from scratch. I tell you, Monday morning, the man in the same shirt. Yeah, so why go tell my friend? I say, your phone was off. I don't know what you tell her. I know what you'll tell me because Sunday night I rested on him. <laughs> he was going home. How oh, you could move with 310 pounds on top of you? And only balling, I don't do this, you know. Where you going? You really want to go? Stop, stop it. They move. Food and pussy, they day. But you see, women don't understand that game. Down to the rasters that I've had. And I'm talking true rasta. Not them cosmetic dread we have here that are sit down under here, dryer, with gel in the head. I don't understand that, you know. I don't understand man and the ideas right now. And you know where man getting the ideas from? Woman. People just talk about man dress code change. And they know what they, what they want. If they're going tight, if they're going big. Because woman don't know what they want. If you know you can't take a man in a tight pants as he reach by you, tell him. Where are you going looking like macaroni dress up? If you know you can't take a man in a big pants, tell him where you going. You try not for pity Barnum on them or what is a clung pants. He go feel stupid and go man change it. But no, you look nice. And you know when it's time to lie, all you can't lie. Some years ago, a woman and her well, her own, a man was walking in town, bounce up the husband. You remember that years ago? And the husband said, There's your man. She say yes, and he chop off her head. Don't laugh. I tell myself, she really lose her fucking head. You was denied, denied, denied. No, who is he? Me don't know him. You deny. I don't get woman. I just watch some men these days, and I tell him myself, father, they confuse. No man of mine is sitting under no hair dryer in a hair salon with dye and gel. I'm calling himself Rasta and tie up in a bun. Man wearing some tight, 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 tight fucking pants these days and stepping out with woman. Your man pants can't be tighter than yours. How that flow? And then plenty of them can't understand why the boat, the boat rate dropped. Your sperm dying. <laughs> them eggs are getting no breeze. Or you're crushing your seeds. Let it flow. These days when you unravel a man and take off your pants, the balls balling, oh God. There's just, you know, normally when you see them, the balls frighten. There's air, there's light, oh God. Why that? It's how I one night went the other day and I see him stand up in a corner. The pants tight, when I tell you, it's a yang. And a pointy tip shoe. <laughs> Looking like rumple still skin. It comes straight out and curve. Fuck 
you going? And the hair in a bun. Twist down and, and graded. Pretty, pretty, and he mouth glistening. And them is the ones that want the ball fire for bum chichi mouth. Now, why are you saying you're bullying, but you have bullying tendencies? <laughs> what your mouth glowing with that look like KY? <laughs> what are you saying? And them stepping out with woman? No, he is looking for a bottom. I have been with some serious rasta. Different dread. Jamaican bobo. And even them is hypocrites. Me do bow. Rasta man do eat. <laughs> I don't know about all you, but that scenario don't play off in my bedroom or kitchen. For those of you who never bowl by your stove, you're wrong. I used to be hot, literally, the stove on. And I swizzle in the calorie and well, stop your stupidness. I don't want no prick. Oh, God. <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> My stove have a handle. I don't know how well it's open the oven. <laughs> no. They don't eat? What do you mean they don't eat? Crazy. Them don't eat, but you have to eat. No, my stomach full too. When you're having sex or when you're sharing, because I really believe that sex is a spiritual thing between a man, a woman, or whoever else. It's not for me to judge. I don't have time to ball out, well, who taking what? Hello? I know I have a freaky side. It, hello. It's bad. So me and judging nobody else because I don't want nobody to judge me. I just pay my rent. What happens in my bedroom or in my house is my business. If the neighbors are affected, they could draw the curtain. <laughs> if they hear any noises, they could go and sleep. Turn up the TV louder. Honestly, I don't have time to judge. And that's one of our problems. We judge and judge and don't judge ourselves. Because all of them that bowling fire for bun chichi man, I have a serious problem when you're catching vibes of an eight-year-old girl. Fire fi bun chichi man, you want to kill two consenting adults. Taking a man in your bottom is a serious thing. You feel it's just so you just open your ass for a man? To turn the front or no? I'm telling you. For research purposes. <laughs> and research purposes only. I have done a few things. Or consented to try it. I am a trisexual. <laughs> something happening and you could, you could try something. Yes. If I like it, stop. I sleep with a hammer near the bed. If I wouldn't stop, stop and you will understand. I could open my head and the stop does get through. Then I'm nothing like a cuff in your head with a hammer or a lash. But somebody, well, when you do that, I tell you stop. You didn't hear it the first time, you didn't hear it the third and fourth. Hammer. Taking a man in your bottom. I don't want to talk about the pain. <laughs> but it hurt. You know, married women or women that are in relationships with people for any great length of time could tell you, when you're with somebody long, you just want to try new, th new things because you don't want to haunt them, you love them. As I always say, after the wedding comes the marriage. And that's when the real work starts. The real work don't start with ordering ornaments and party favors and planning bridesmaid dress. You just have to tell yourself, I'm sharing my life with this person and sex is a good and great part. So you're with somebody 30 years. They want new things, 13 months. They want new things because they was getting nanny 13 months before. So you there and you must hear. Let me try something now. 